What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a physical attacking Rayquaza team that also features Defiant, Life Orb, Galarian, Zapdos. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day just to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Also, guys, your boy is streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Go hit that link. Hit that follow button. Turn on notifications bell so you know when I go live. And also, pop out into the chat. Say what's up. I love chatting up with you guys. So, if you guys have some free time, you see me streaming, pop into that chat. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Rayquaza. Starting off with Airlock as its ability. Alongside with Assault Vest as I to make him a bit bulkier up against special attackers. It's got Dragon Ascent. And outrage both for stab and then it has two coverage moves eq and extreme speed but extreme speed is for first turn priority second pokemon is going to be this galarian zapdos with defiant and life orb i absolutely love this pokemon it's really good at countering up on intimidate pokemon such as incineroar and it is a great pokemon in the dynamax it's got thunderous kick it has brave bird for stab and then it has blaze kick for protect or well not protect for coverage and then detect as its protect move Middle left is going to be our second restricted Pokemon, and it is going to be Zamazenta over here with the Dauntless Shield and the Rusted Shield to give it that nice, lovely defense boost. It's kind of here just for support. It's got Snarl for special attack drops. It's got Coaching to coach up on our physical attackers such as Zapdos and Rayquaza. Then it's got Iron Head and Wide Guard to protect ally Pokemon from double hitting moves. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be our support Sableye with Prankster and the Mental Herb. It's got Shadow Sneak for first turn priority and damaging move. It's got Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods. It's got Rain Dance to set the rain for our lovely Ludicolo. And then it's got Will-O-Wisp to burn physical attackers. So I really like that Sableye. He's kind of just there to kind of pair up with that Ludicolo and get the Swift swim moving for him. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Regilecki. And I haven't seen Regilecki's using this moveset a lot more often. Recent meta. It's got Transistor alongside with the Focus Ash, and it has Wild Charge, Assurance, Bounce, and E Web for Speed Control. Final Pokemon is going to be our Rain Pokemon. It's going to be Ludicolo over here with that Swift Swing to double with Speed in the Rain, alongside with that Extra Belt as its item. It's got Scald, Giga Drain, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, the rental code is chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Rayquaza and Galarian Zapdos team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle for today's video. Going up against a Lunala and Reshiram team with Thunderous and Landorus, and then he has Amoongus and Grimstarl, both as support mons. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I might just lead Rayquaza and get after that. Rayquaza is rather good. I could also go in with Zamazetta and have him coach up. Let me see the speeds on these. 171, you're rather fast. Wow, we got a pretty, pretty fast team here. A pretty fast team. I feel like we outspeed a lot of his Pokemon, so I might go with Zamazetta. Alongside with even Zapdos wouldn't be bad, just in case he wants to lead that Landorus. That's not too shabby. That is not too shabby. But the thing about Zapdos is I feel like Rayquaza would be a bit better up against a few of these Pokemon. But I kind of dig it. I kind of dig the Zapdos. Just because it has Defiant. And if he wants to go into his Intimidate, we can roll out strong with that. So I'm going to go Zamazetta. I'm going to go uh, Zapdos as lead. Then Rayquaza. And then final Pokemon, I'm kind of leading towards Regilecki here. Regilecki is just solid all around. It has to bounce. It has the insurance. Or do I just roll in with a Pokemon like Ludicolo? Just so I can have a bit of coverage. I kind of like Ludicolo with the extra belt. I kind of dig him a little bit more than Regilecki because he has Pokemon like uh, like Thunderous. And Thunderous is a Pokemon that usually comes in the back end sometimes. So I'm going to bring Ludicolo just to counter up on that. But yo, something I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video is I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Joshua. Thanks so much for leaving this team. And also, guys, let me know for question of the day. This is a big question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on the brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet trailer? Considering it came out and it dropped a bunch of big news about the uh, the gimmick. What is it? Terrestrializing? Or Terrestrializing, I think it's pronounced. And then you got like the region stuff. You got, uh, they showcase Maridon and Karidon about how you can ride on them, climb up walls, all that crazy stuff. They showcase a bunch of Pokemon. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below about that trailer. Because I think this Pokemon game is going to be cool. I really do think it's going to be top tier. I think it's going to blow a lot of different games out of the water. I think it's going to like, I think it's going to be top Pokemon game in my opinion. But, uh, let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. Because I know everybody else has different opinions. He's going to end up leading these two. And I don't mind that. I mean, he might have Koba Berry. Uh, I could snarl him. That's a special attacker right there. That is a special attacker. And I'm thinking just snarling instead of coaching. And then just uh, going into my move. So yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to Dynamax over too. Airstream. Take a bit more speed. Just do that. If it has Cobra Berry, it has Cobra Berry. If not, it's all good. If not, it is all good. But the snarl should come out here before anybody. So I do like the snarl. I do like the snarl action here. Just get the special attack drop onto that Regiram. Who I think he might be Dynamaxing. But well, we're going to get this bird rolling. 
We are gonna get this bird roll, who I absolutely love. This Galarian Zapdos. I think he's so strong, especially with Life Orb. He's quick. He has great moveset. He's just great all around. And he is gonna end up dynamizing. So the Snarl should do us really, really good here. And Rayquaza probably could have been to play. Rayquaza probably could have been to play. Because Rayquaza outspeeds and it has Assault Mess on top. Rayquaza would have been a nice little lead. But we'll save him for the back end. We'll get our Bird Dynamax. Or our Ostrich, I should say. I should say. And we get rolling with that. So let's see what he does. Maybe he'll max guard the rest of You never know. He does not. So Airship's going to fly. No Code Berry. This, this should KO, right? This thing's Sash. Good thing we're using Snarl. I like that turn. I like the Snarl turn. So I think this thing's going to try to Spore. Thank God we're using Snarl. Thank God we're using Snarl. We take out the uh, we take out the Moongus and we get the special attack drop. That's huge. That is a huge, lovely little turn. So Snarl comes out here. Bye bye Moongus. This thing was definitely looking to drop a little Spore action, and we get that special attack drop. But that's not a bad Moongus set. The Focus Sash. I like that. I like that. If we weren't Snarl, Snarling, we would have been fine. He drops a Flare. I think Zamazetta should be able to soak that, right? Good work, Zama. Good work. Now I can coach this turn. I could coach and boost our stats and just get rolling out with uh with the bird instead of Snarling. Kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. Coach for defense boost. I mean, he doesn't have too many physical attackers. Let's see who he goes into. Lunala, maybe? Maybe Lander. So there goes Intimidate. Oh, yo, we love that. We love that. That's Defiant boosting. That's Defiant boosting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for the free plus one attack. And now I can coach up against that physical attacker. And then I might just get after his, uh, after his Regiram. Yeah, I definitely got a coach here. 1,000% got a coach. I could knuckle, I could airstream. I think airstream's gonna be your best bet. Airstream's gonna do the most damage. I could actually just get rid of this Pokemon. I could just get rid of Lando. I could definitely just get rid of Lando. And I hope he takes out Zamazetta and then we can just roll out and get after him with a different Pokemon. Hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna airstream into Reshiram here. Hopefully he doesn't guard. Let's see what he does here. He's gonna end up protecting him. So beautiful, beautiful, yo. Last second change, we go on the Resram. We love that. So coaching is gonna come out here. He gets no value out of that Landers, which is huge. And Airstream's gonna fly. Airstream is gonna fly. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. So we get off some big damage there. I like that all day. Hopefully he just takes out my Zamas out of there. Then we can get rolling out with the Pokemon. But we're off to a strong start here. Coaching's gonna come out here. We're gonna boost that attack and our defense at the same time. That's solid turn for us. And he flares again, which got to be going into Zamazetta. Cool. That's fine. Zamazetta, we got so much value out of that. Eat up. It took two Dynamax shots, got off a Snarl, and got off a Coach. That's huge. That's power. That's power moves. And it got and the Snarl took out a, a Pokemon. So I can go into actually you if I want to. I'm going to Ludicolo. Ludicolo's not too shabby here. It's for the Icy win. What do I want to do? Rayquaza is pretty solid here, too. Rayquaza is pretty solid. So I can freely go into EQs here. I'm just going to roll in the Rayquaza. I'll save my Ludicolo. Because I like Ludicolo without the sun. I like Ludicolo without the sun. Because Icy Wind's obviously not going to kill. It's going to do a good amount of damage onto the, uh, the Landers. But it's not going to do like full HP, you know? So I could go for Dragon Ascent. I could Outrage. I mean, we know that thing doesn't have Sash. So you know what? I'm just going to Outrage into... I'm just going to Outrage. And then have this guy right here take out Thunderous. Right? I could actually boost attack. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to have him take out Landorus right here. Let's see. We're plus two on attack. So we'll take out Landorus. And then we'll have an Outrage slide over and finish off that uh, that Resuram. So that's a beautiful turn, yo. Dude, my bird's rolling. My bird is rolling strong. We say bye-bye to Lando. We're going to say bye-bye to Resuram. It turns into a 2v1 situation here with speed boost to freeze Pokemon. It, it, it is over. And we still have Ludicolo in the back end. GG's. GG's. What a way to get this video started. Outrage fine here. I'm going to say bye-bye to you. Get them on out of here. Yo, Resuram. Get on out my game. We don't need you here. See you later. Get them on out of here. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love when I'm buzzing like this. Dude. I'm feeling good. I feel like my commentary is good. We're playing good. Everything all about this video, I'm liking. Because I, I just love bringing you guys good content. I just love bringing you guys good content. So, Lunala's going to be his final Pokemon. This guy is definitely just going to quit out here. Dropping a mean Brave Bird. We're plus two on attack. Just everything's looking good. And we have Outrage rolling here. Let's go Blaze Kick. What's it more damage? Blaze Kick in the sun or a stab Brave Bird? I think a stab Brave Bird would do a bit more damage. But again, I just think this dude cancels. There's no way he stays in here. Yep, there it is. Battle was canceled. We take battle number one. Battle number one could not have gone more perfect. We absolutely dominated that battle with Galarian Zapdos. But now we're hopping into battle number two. And we're going up against a really cool meta Pokemon. Or I should say off meta Pokemon. 
I didn't mean to say meta. We're going up against a Flapple team right here with Lunala, Incineroar, Regilecki, Tornadus, and Kyogre. So hopefully he brings the Flapple in here and he gets rocking out with that. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I could lead a Pokemon like Zapdos, but in case he leads the, uh, the Incineroar. But he might lead a Pokemon like Regilecki. Regilecki could be a problem. I kind of want to go Ludicolo and Regilecki here just in case he bleeds a Kyogre. I think we could be fine with that. And then bring Rayquaza and Zapdos in the back end. Two very strong Pokemon. I'm digging it. I'm really liking that. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But hopefully he leads to Kyogre. Gets a Swiss from rolling and we can just get buzzing with that. I mean, still at that point, he could tail when and get off some mean damage. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine all around. If he goes into water spouts. Because A, we have the focus action. And B, Ludicolo is water. Should be able to soak it up. So hopefully we see the Kyogre Tornadoes come out here. Anybody but Incineroar, right? Flat. Okay. Okay. Flapple comes out here. Flapple and Lunala. So Meteor Beam is probably going to get poking. Kind of scary. We do want definitely want to slow these Pokemon down. I don't want to go into an Icy one at the same time, but I feel like after that... Uh, I mean, I could just go straight into an Icy one, but uh, after that, we should be fine. I'm going to go into Scald here, and I could bounce and dip. Go into Insurance, too. Hmm. I could definitely go into Insurance. But again, I got to get some speed control. I definitely gotta slow these boys down, so I'm just gonna slow them down. Let them pop a meteor beam. Flapple might actually die next year. Yeah, Flapple is gonna get the Dynamax. Unless it's Lunala. Usually you don't really see Lunala's get the Dynamax, but I'm all about the Flapple. If I'm gonna lose to a team, I would love to lose to a Flapple. <laughs> yeah, yo, G Max Flapple coming in here. His G Max Grab Apple, which is such a sick movie. Just drops an apple. But so funny, like these were actually one of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Appleton and Flapple. I think they're such cool designs. I just think they're really cool. Elon's gonna poke here. We're just going to drop speed. That's the only reason you're using it. And Scald's going to fly. God dang, he didn't lead the Kyogre. I'm a little upset with that. I am a little upset with that. Scald's going to come out here. We have speed all day. And hopefully we get off a burn on this Pokemon. Just start chipping off some damage. No burn. And G-Max Tartan is coming out here. Leave me alone. Into my Ludicolo. Leave me alone, dude. Can we eat that? Wow, this thing hits like a truck. This thing hits like a truck. That's going to lower my evasiveness. That is an awful move. That is an awful move. It does a lot of damage, but its move does nothing. He just pop a Trick Room. He pops a Trick Room. So smart play on his end to pop a Trick Room. And at this point, I can just go into... I'm going to Ray Ray? Or do I go into Zapdos? I kind of dig it's Zapdos here. I kind of dig it's Zapdos. I'm going to Dynamax Zapdos. We're going to get Riven with him. Let's get Riven with Zapdos. The Trick Room is looking rather, rather intimidating. So I'm just going to Airstream over into the Apple. We can get off some big damage and then i'm gonna assurance right across into this slot because we are gonna probably take damage this round and then i have focus action we can double damage with the insurance and get off a decent amount of damage there so the trick room was such a good play i really wasn't expecting it from the Nala. and we're gonna get buzzing from here okay so ludico gets absolutely dumped on by the gmax tartanus such a cool move such a cool move such a cool move but it, it it's uh it's after effects aren't that good at base when this drops like you don't really need those you really don't need those Really do not need those. He tartnesses again into my Regilecki. That's totally fun. Oh, and I'm dead, aren't I? Aren't I dead? Aren't I dead? Isn't he dropping a meteor beam? Oh my god. I didn't even think of this. I should have guarded it. Please. No. Leave me alone. I get I get this defiant boost. So yo, if I'm not dead here, we could be buzzing. Don't drop a meteor beam. Whatever you do, don't drop the meteor beam. Leave me alone. He hypnosed me. Okay, I mean that's better than meteor beam. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. That is better than meteor beam. That's a little bit better than Meteor Beam. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather be asleep than dead. Assurance comes out here, double damage. Chipping up some mean damage. That's some big time damage. That's some big time damage. So uh, from here, I'm just going to airstream again. Get after you. And then, I don't even know. Maybe just E-Web across the board. I don't think E-Web takes out. I guess we'll Assurance again, but we definitely go down here. We definitely go down here. And dude, if we can waste out Trick Room, I don't think we'll be sitting in a bad position. My bird can hit like a truck. Currents did a lot of damage. I do like that. But, dude, that hypnosis, of course, lands. Norman's going to fly. Can you take out my Regilecki with that? No, you got for my bird. Leave my bird alone, dude. This thing's hitting like a truck. He's defiant. Pop it again. So, if I can wake up here. Oh, my God. We can be sitting in a nice spot. If I can wake up here. If I can wake up here. I'm plus three. If I can wake up here, we're plus three. I'm going to go for a Moon Guys Beam. Can we eat that? Can we wake up? Can we wake up? Yes, Zapdos. It's a beautiful turn for us. Zapdos wakes up. We're going to take out this Pokemon all day. We're going to take some life orb damage. And this battle is going to be rather close. We're going to take out you and uh, Regilecki is going to take out the next Pokemon. 
I do like that. I do like that. So dude, we're defiant. We're defiant pop. Now, how many turns left in Trick Room? Is it one? I think it might be one. If it's one, I can guard. I can guard and I can't protect, but I can guard here. And allow my Zapdos to get off another turn, which could be big. Which could be real big. So I'm hoping it's one. I think it's one, right? I think it's one more turn. Is it two? I think it's one. I think it is one. He's going to go here. Oh my God, dude. We could do so much. We could do so much. We could do so much. We can do so much damage if we can just get rid of this Pokemon. Or if, if, if there's one more turn left in Trick Room. If there's one more turn in Trick Room, we have a legitimately decent shot at this. We have a legitimate decent shot at this. Come on, yo. Show me one more turn. Show me one more turn. Let's check it out. Hurts the soul, man. It hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I'm still going to guard. I am still going to guard. That hurts the soul, man. The soul has been hurt. The soul has been hurt. <laughs> Two turns left in Trick Room. Hurts the soul. Might want to go for a Detect after this. That would be cool if... I'm not going to lie. That would be cool. Does Protect and Detect work differently or do they work the same? Like, can I Detect here 100% because it's not a Protect? Makes sense? Kind of makes sense in my head. <laughs> but we're going to go Rayquaza here. Rayquaza should be able to soak up a... Hey, what's it called? A water spout. We're dragging with that assault vest. We have airlock on. Oh, and the effects on weather disappear. Big plays. Big plays, jeans. Oh, what do we do? It's our player. I can start outraging. I gotta detect you. And I could go for extreme speed. Just so his water spout would do less damage. That ain't a bad turn for me. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. That's not a bad turn for me, so I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for detect, and of course I don't land it. It fails. Stream speed poking out here. Sending it. Chipping up a little bit of damage. We're gonna say bye bye to the bird. He darkest layer is on to me. How dare you? Leave my bird alone. So my bird was dead either way. So the tech was the right call. We tried to land another one. Did not happen. I never get that luck. And he's gonna drop a blizzard, which connects! Which connects and just dumps on me. So GG to our pony. He played that one really good. I feel like the trick room really just thrived out there. And we're sitting one on one. We can hop into a third. Look for that winning record. Every time I try to land a protect, I can never land a double protect. But every time my opponent goes for it, they always land it. But it's all good. I think we were losing that battle regardless, even if we landed it. But, you know, it's time for third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a heavy meta, Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with Regilecki, Tornadus, Incineroar, and Lanner. So two Intimidate Pokemon. I got to lead the Zapdos, right? I got to lead the Zapdos. He might lead the Regilecki on top of that, but... If he does, I could lead like a Reg like on my own, which wouldn't be, be bad. I mean, he could lead Zassian, but I feel like we just should be fine with these guys right here. Let's go Zapdos. Um, who else should we go here? We could go Sable. I get a little bit of support action here. That wouldn't be bad. Or we can go like a Reg of our own, which I kind of dig. I kind of dig a Reg Lecky. Or I can just go in with a Quasa, Dynamax, and kind of get after it that way. That is not too bad. I feel like Reg is going to be solid. So, you know, I'm going to go Reg I'm going to go Zapdos. I'm going to bring Rayquaza, and I'm going to bring Zamas out of here. Right? Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's game. This first battle, we got started off strong. And then the second battle, they made a great play by popping the Trick Room. And that Trick play or Trick Room is really what won in the game. Trick Room was just thriving for him. He was getting all first turn priorities with very strong Pokemon. Doing some big damage all around. I feel like that's where this team kind of like isn't that good. I mean, it has the Taunt to Taunt uh, Pokemon for Trick Room. But a lot of them will rock the Mental Order. He goes Tornadus and Incineroar. So Defiant... It's popping, baby. Let's get it. So that's a bit. That's a big turn for Defiant Pop. Um, he's gonna intimidate. I mean, he can fake out my Red Lucky all he wants, but I'm Dynamaxing my bird. I'm Dynamaxing my bird. My bird came to play. I mean, dude, he had two intimidate Pokemon. I was just like, dude, we have to go into a Defiant Pokemon. He might pop a Tailwind. He probably is gonna pop a Tailwind. I think we just Max Knuckle and Attack Boost herself. Or we can def definitely just get some speed here. I'm gonna get to my Attack Boost. I'm gonna Attack Boost up. And I might just slow them down. Or I could speed boost. I could definitely speed boost. So I'm kind of leaning towards instead of attack boosting. I'm thinking of just speed boosting with an airstream. And then just E-Web and slowing them down. Because if he pops tail one, we have to take some sort of speed back into our favor. So I'm really liking that. I am really liking that. Let's do it. Let's die and max him right off the rip. Let's get Buzz near. He's probably going to fake out. Maybe, maybe not. 
Maybe, maybe not. We have focus ash, so I feel like we should be thriving here. We are plus one on attack that can do some big damage with this airstream. And then we have e web coming across on top of that. So I like it. So is he going to go for Tailwind if I had to guess? Probably. And he's going to fake me out, and then what? And then what? What are you doing after this? What are you doing after this? He's going to icy win me. So he's going to just lower my speed that way. Okay. Let's boost it right back up to normal. I'm cool with that all day. It's a crit on my zap, which kind of hurts the soul. And then Defiant pops again. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. I love the fine. The fine is incredible. <laughs> so, he's, so I'm sitting here plus three, I think, now, aren't I? I think I'm plus three. We're going to say bye-bye to Cinnamore and take our speed right back. We're taking our speed right back. So now I can legit just wild charge right into what's it called? I could wild charge right into uh, Tornadus. I wanted to. But if he throws out a Pokemon like Zassi and I might max guard here. And then just uh, E-Web and kind of just slow down speed a little bit. See what he does. It's tough. We're back normal on attack or on speedboard. He's gonna throw out Zacian, and, and again, I'm gonna max guard here. I'm gonna max guard, and I'm gonna eat web. He's going for Behemoth Blade. He's gonna go for Tailwind and Behemoth Blade. He's gonna try to get after us, which is definitely scary. So let me just guard here, waste out a turn, and then just eat web and slow down. That's my play. That is my lovely little play. We gotta just keep slowing these guys down. Because if these guys are minus one in Tailwind, I think can my G outspeed? I don't. I don't know. That is tough, but yeah, we're definitely guarding here. You gotta be going for Tailwind, right? Yep, Tailwind Behemoth Blade all day long. There's no way you go after my Regilecki. You see my Defiant Bird poking out here? Yeah, okay, we saw that from a mile away. So good read by us. We end up going into the Max Guard. He ends up Tailwind. We go for an E-Web. We gotta slow him down a little bit. We gotta slow these boys down just, just a little bit. Some great damage on Tornadus. Another E-Web takes him out. That's huge. That is huge. At this point, we could go for another Max Guard, but uh, I'm not gonna land it. It's not happening, so I'm just gonna go for that Airstream. Actually, no. We're going to go for that, that flare here. If I'm going to land attack, I'm going to get rid of Zacian. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to E-Web. E-Web coming out here. Can you outspeed, Reggie? We do not. Behemoth Blade's going to take me out. So see you later, Zapdos. Zapdos out for the count. That hurts soul. He's dead all day. Somehow eat this up. Probably not, right? Yeah, no, no shot. No shot. Zacian's just overpowered. He's just overpowered. So not a bad turn from Zapdos. He got off some big damage. I knew that the Zacian was going to come out here. And then we're going to actually roll in with an E-Web. Ice Wind's going to slow me down, but E-Web's going to be able to take out that Tornadus. And we're sitting in such a tough spot. A real tough spot. A real tough spot. Here goes my E-Web. Say bye-bye to Tornadus. That's huge for us. And we lower Zassian's speed. The minus two. So he's even. He's even right now because Tailwind puts it up plus two. He's even on the board. So I can go into a Pokemon like Zamas out of here. Which wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad because if I had to guess, he's probably gonna roll into a Pokemon like uh, Shadow Rider. He's probably oh yeah, we could wide guard it. He rolls into Shadow Rider. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be Reggie. Okay, so never mind. Reggie's gonna be his final Pokemon, and I could start Snarling. I could start Snarling. He's gonna Dynamax to Reggie, so yeah, let's start Snarling him out. Snarl, Snarl, Snarl. Drop that special attack, and we're gonna just gonna, just gonna try to get off damage with a. Uh, with what's it called? With Reggie over onto that Zacian. Okay. I mean, this, this, this is going to be tough. This is tough. I mean, at least we have that defense boost, which is huge. If I can get off some Snarls. And then Tailwind ends rather soon. That will bring Zacian down really low in speed. And then the rest of my Pokemon can outspeed him. Hey, not bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. But the Dynamax Regilecki, we know is a problem. The so close battle for battle number three. This is a good battle all around, though. It really is. We had our Zapdos buzz in the beginning, but again, once Zacian comes out here, he outspeeds most, especially in Tailwind, and he can kill most Dynamax Pokemon in one shot. No problem whatsoever. If it's neutral effective, he's taking you out. No problem. If it's not very effective, he's still doing a crazy amount of damage. It's just super, super strong. You can go for the Lightning in here into my Regilecki. Can you somehow eat that? No shot, right? Yeah, no shot. No shot he eats that. Not very effective. He's going to set that lovely little electric terrain. And I don't see, like... I mean, is he rocking close combat? That's the real question. Is this Zacian rocking close combat? We shall see. What's he going for? He's going for Sa Okay, Sacred Sword is going to do a decent amount of damage, but we are defense boost, so we are able to sit Which is pretty good. Snarl's going to come out here. And we're going to chip off some damage, and more importantly, get that special attack drop. That is type noise. That is type noise. I wish I did have protect on him. Rayquaza's going to come out here. We do have a Soul Vest, which is going to work wonders for us. And I'm trying to think of what I should do here. Because that Zacian is just a pain, dude. I can't protect. 
I cannot protect. How many turns left in Tailwind? Airlock coming out here. And Tailwind has one more turn. There's Soul. There's the Soul. Who's faster? Who is faster? Thomas Dennis, show that you're faster. You tap it faster? What's a speed tie? I'm gonna have to go for his coaching speed tie. I'm gonna have to go for his coaching speed tie. Can we win this speed tie up against my Rayquaza? And just drop an EQ? Go ahead, Rayquaza. Do it. Do it, Rayquaza. Or not, Rayquaza. Thomas Dennis, outspeed it. Out just win the speed tie. Lightning's gonna come through here. Can you eat that? He's minus one. Never mind. We just can't eat it. We can't eat it regardless. Rayquaza, can you do some big damage? Get some crits for us? Coverage move style. Play rough's gonna probably finish this off, but hopefully he misses it. Oh, he missed the play rough. Let's go. Let's go. Because now we outspeed the Zamazetta. Now, or the Zassy. Now we outspeed the Zassy. Did my boy just clutch it up? Did my boy just clutch it up? We have to be able to eat up a lightning, which we should be able to. We should be able to, right? We're assault vest alongside with a special attack drop on him. Yo, let's go. We just did it. Did we just do it? I don't want to get overhyped. I don't want to get overhyped. Lightning comes in here. Rayquaza says, yo, that's tasty snack you ever had. Let's go. And now you outspeed Zassy all day long. He's minus two. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Your boy Rayquaza clutches it up. And we grab ourselves that beautiful winning record. Let's go. Yes, sir, yo. Let's go. I was just saying, we need him to miss play rough. And my RNG does me a huge favor. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A winning record for you guys with this amazing Defiant Life Orb Zapdos team. I should say Galarian Zapdos team. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I've been looking for a Galarian Zapdos team for a good bit because I always do good on it. And I just think he's such a fun Pokemon to use on the ladder. But we had other Pokemon like Rayquaza. Zamazetta came in clutch. Regilecki's great. And we used Ludicolo like once, but he kind of just got dumped on. And then Sableye, we didn't get to use him at all. But you guys know the gist of him. He's just there for support and doing his little job. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody